You need to download the latest version of PyRevit from the official GitHub page. The installation process takes a couple of minutes, so I'll speed up the video to the end. Now when we run Revit, we see that the PyRevit console is loading, which means that the installation was successful. Open your project and go to the PyRevit tab. For example, I will add an extension that I use in lessons. Go to my GitHub page and uh, download it. Uh, you can find all the links in the description video. Open the PyRevit settings and add the extensions folder. Now we can see a new tab with buttons. And the uh, same process if you download scripts from Beam API. Just select uh, the root folder. Here is an example of how the PyRevit folder structure works. To create a new button, you need a folder with a dot button in the name. I give it a random name. Then click the reload button to apply changes. To create a new panel, you need a folder with a dot panel in the name. Here is how it looks like now. To create a new tab, the folder must be named with the dot tab. You can find a more detailed guide on folder structure at beamapi.com.